Good evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn how to set the coordinate system and place node direction in the dialog files so firstly let's understand what is this coordinate system so basically the coordinate system is a system that uses one or more number of points or coordinates to determine the position of the elements okay and what is the actual requirement of this coordinate system in the dialog ego is these are usually the reference points for documenting luminate positions so if for this one i have considered a project here okay it's a car porch area i will just cancel the calculation and show you the project so this is a car porch area the out the boundary wall and this is some landscape here okay so for this project we are going to set the coordinate system so before we jump into this project and set the coordinate system let's open a fresh file okay let's go to the dialogs evo autocad plan in our dialogs file open so whenever you open a new project it asks you to set the coordinate system okay so here my file is imported and you can see the first thing it asked me to is configuration of the plan the first thing is origin and rotation so it is asking me the origin and rotation that is uh, what we usually do is wherever the uh, plan starts we go there and select our first point extend it and click on for the second point so this this one is basically the coordinate system okay now let's randomly select any units okay this might be in inches okay this is how you set the coordinate system for your new file okay now what is this red and green line indicates so this red line indicates the x axis green indicates the y axis and if you go to the 3d model you can see one more arrow direction that is in blue that is nothing but the z y z axis okay i suggest you to you know set the coordinate system where your site is there now we'll go to the construction this is my site okay so i have set the coordinate system so i have set the coordinate such that it is on to my site okay what it helps is when i am zooming out the file okay it sets properly okay it actually determines the positions so you can set it in the side view or you can go to the building okay this part i have drawn in the building go here and you can even come here and set the coordinate system again okay suppose you want to rotate it okay take the coordinate system and say here it shows you the number of degrees it should have to be rotated so it is 6 degree here or 20 degree here or 32 degree here um say i want to make it 45 degree so this is how it gets rotated it is now rotated by you now 45 degrees okay so similarly you can go and do the changes in the story and the room modes respectively okay you can go and set the coordinates in all the three modes okay depending upon what area you are going to view okay because it is the thing which helps you to you know when you are zooming all and the luminar positions while you are documenting this is very helpful so this is a basic thing in the coordinate system next thing here is you know marking the north position so generally when we go to the display options and click on this arrow display north arrow it shows you where is where is the north located which which side is north so here it is pointing me towards this side so it means my north direction is here so don't get confused with setting the coordinate system and the north orientation okay though you uh, you know change the rotation of this coordinate system your north seems to be changed but it's not actually that one so when you're changing the coordinate system it's it changes only the coordinates not the north direction so you want so if you want to specifically indicate the north direction there is the other way around so don't play around with the coordinate systems you know to change this uh, north direction so we'll go back control z the 
zoom all okay now here in my drawing the north is here suppose i want it to be on this side the easiest way is go to the side view make sure you are in the side view here also select this one draw north arrow okay and now say i want the north direction to be pointing on this side so what i'm going to do is click on the first point here you can see the north direction here and just click on the second point so you can see here the north direction is changed okay now it is at this side right similarly if you want to change the north direction towards down you can click on the first point second point and your north direction is down so this is you know a simple way like if it is straight lines from north here or this side to the right hand side or to the left hand side or to the bottom side you can do it easily now suppose if uh, the north direction is inclined with the some angle then how you're going to change it now here for that one you have to come down you can see here site alignment it shows you the longitude and latitude and below that one it even shows you the north alignment how much degrees it is you know differing i mean how much degrees it is there so here it shows me 180 degree now suppose i want to make it 45 degree you can do it this way also okay 45 or say some random number 77 so like this you can easily set the north coordinate system which is not exactly on the straight lines okay and second very important thing here is you can only place the north direction when you are in sight mode suppose you are in the story mode or in the room or in the building mode you if you are trying to change the you know north direction draw so when i am selecting the draw north arrow it will automatically it will automatically go into the sight mode see now i am just clicking on this one and it is showing me here the sight mode okay so whenever you are placing the north direction make sure you are in the sight mode okay now for why is this you know north direction important to us while doing dialogues okay you know while in the autocad files when we have north direction it's majorly because you know to imagine the orientation of the building and to know the wind directions okay how the sun um to know the sunrise to get to know the sun directions etc so now here on the dialogues why is it important to place the north directions it is important when you are doing a daylight calculations okay suppose you do a daylight calculation and you know where exactly is your north direction and as per the timings you want to do the daylight calculation it will be very helpful to know where the north is so that you know when sun rises in the east and sets in the west so according to the north position north direction we can set the time zone the direction of our windows and do the daylight calculations so that is why it's important to set the you know to set the north position so while you are doing the normal calculation it does not have much of the effect so but it's important if you're doing the daylight calculation let's check it out let's run the calculation and check it out the coordinate system how it is going to be displayed in the documentations so we are going to go to the calculation objects and run entire project the calculations is completed you can see the nice effect on the step light and wall light effect we'll go to the documentations and i have already set the summary part and here in the summary you can see here the x and y axis this is why it's important to set the coordinate systems properly so we'll go back to our dialogues and this is it guys in this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you